first moves we did were the open movements where we walked and then we held for two. And when we guys we talked about our arm being connected to our body, not our arm on its own isolating our follow. Um, it was about our body moving with our arm. And we had our hesitations, forwards and backwards. We also had the rotation with the follow. And then we talked about going low, high, quick, slow. We also did the pulse and the smooth. So, boom, ha. Pulsey, 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 pulsey. And then smooth. Remembering the smooth is very painful like, uh, very animal like. Which also might lead you to your choices and levels, um, stuff like that. Um, that's what we did for that. There's a lot more musicality stuff that we'll come back to. Um, What's that? Instruments, when we danced um, to the instruments, picking out trumpets or harmonicas or voice or something, see what that makes you feel like doing, um, isolating our bodies, dancing big or dancing small, dancing elongated, wide, um, freezing and slowly coming out of it, or freezing and then moving out of it. Talking about freezing. Uh, this came from a six count style tuck to movement. Uh, where as she came through here, I like, grabbed it, uh, tense up a little bit, which engages her body, and then we're able to release it. Now, from here, we can come out quickly, slowly. She can walk backwards. The key, guys, is after this move, do not walk forwards. You want to create a counterbalance here, and the moment you're here, you've got really two ways of going, which is backwards and then 45 degrees around to the right. The moment you walk forwards, you will lose your trust. I can take control though, and if you feel me pulling hard, it means I want you to come with me. Cool. Don't then I resist. Walk, but I'm going to resist the walk to allow you to pull me. I'm not going to fall into you. Yeah, but don't resist like a uh, uh, strong on me because I'm, I'm only so big. And um, if it feels like you don't want to come, then I'm going to give up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then we did the moves. Other move. Oh, we did that move onto the back, which, sorry guys, we didn't recap that tonight. So as, you come, as she comes through here, I'm going to wait here. You can see I'm going to pull her across, which allows me to then step on my right, which brings her on her right. This is from last week, which, unfortunately, we didn't recap, so we'll just um, talk you through it. Rotational rock step. Create a, a, a bit of a oozy pause here. Create a little bit of tension. Mount Get her on her left foot. Get her on her left foot. See, at the moment I've lost it because I'm too close to her, or she's walked into me. Um, it's hard when we're describing it on film as well. So I need to pull her over. Then I can walk on my right, left down, I can trip her back out. And you have to create that connection um, on Different the back. Angle. Yep. Rotational rock step. See, see I've twisted her body rather than making her go straight back. I need the rotational rock step to spin her through, pull her onto her left, and then I can walk right, down, pull back. So it's helpful for me as a follower for you to take more than one step because that means I know that you're asking for connection from me. So as you go down, I'm pushing down as well, which means you can pop me out. And then the other move we did was a walk across and I pulled her through. We tried for one knee. Um, from here, see how high her leg is? Really restricts what I can do. Safe and certain that point is to flip her up. And that was one of the exit choices we had. So we had six exit cho ex choices. We had our. Um, Different angle, we're just going to flick. And then from there, I can step up and we can walk out. Um, and then if you keep me up in the air, you can do ochos as well if you keep my foot in the air. We're going to step her back and then into reverse options. Remember, I jump on her right at that point. Shoot. Shoot. Yeah, just walk out. Um, uh, and we also had, um, so that was. Hit this move. Three. Oh, have we done the triples? Oh. Our triples require you putting my foot on the ground so rather than slow. lifting it up. So it looks like. So instead of dragging around, I'm just going to leave her foot on the ground so I can triple her through this way. 